so here, here's another um, kind of practical use question, uh, but Austin has a lot of good insight in, into this, and a lot of people ask this, so great question again, again from Ian Collins, so thanks. Thanks, Ian, um, that's awesome. Yeah. How do I reset the device if I'm swapping between cars? So I'll mm, let okay, Austin perfect. attack that. Yeah. yeah, so one of the goals setting out to design to design the box and the learning, and a lot of, a lot of uh, if you go read about these kind of models that people make, one of the big limitations is the number of inputs you have to input, the weight of the car, and the wheelbase, and the track width, and all these numbers. So one of our dedications in this is we're not going to have any wires because that's paying the ass, and we're not going to have any parameters. That's paying the ass. Part of doing that, we actually learned a lot, made something that's super special. You don't have to put in any numbers, and it can pick up in about a lap, um, a lap, I guess I should say, in about a minute and a half. It can pick up a useful model of your car from nothing. And so we make it so that when you power the unit on, it totally resets. It doesn't remember a thing about the last time you drove. And that's pretty valuable because if the weather changes, not like even raining, but maybe it's cooler in the morning than in your afternoon session. So anything that, that happens, like external things you can't control that actually affect the performance of the car, it, it resets and it can relearn it in about a minute and a half. Um, and then get back to giving you good feedback. So the answer to the question is, if you're gonna move from car to car, there's only one thing that you need to do, which is turn the unit off, and then when you turn it on and put it back in the next car, you do need to make sure you calibrate the INU. And the way you would calibrate it, um, right now you probably see that it normally prompts you when you try to start a new session, is you get on and you'll see the, kind of the red lights go across the screen, the app interface lets you get that, and all that does is tell us the IMU it lets it make sure while you're sitting still determines which direction is up. Everything else it can solve from there by itself. Um, if you have the unit a little bit twisted or a little bit rotated, it can account for that, yeah. but it does need to know which way is up from the beginning. So gotcha. that's what I would say is turn it off. When you put it back in the next car, calibrate it and you set. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's an awesome question, Ian. So that's really relevant when you're swapping between cars yep. um, or any time the conditions change. I, I personally reset it every time I go out because I've noticed that um, especially some tracks are super, super temperature sensitive. Really mm -hmm. all are because the coefficient of friction is very greatly affected by the that's temperature true. of the surface. Right? Well, and your tires are going to cool off between sessions, so that's the other thing. Exactly. You're not going to get back in the car and have the same grip you did at the end of the last session. Yeah. So I, I think resetting is probably in general um, the right solution unless you go from somewhere if you have a you have an instructor maybe baseline the car and then you want to get in and cut and follow the baseline in that case right. you should never turn it off because it, like I said it's going to forget whatever just happened yeah. as soon as you turn it off exactly and then you're going to be so basically driving you, to you their lights stop it on the app yeah. but let that blue light keep blinking don't hit the power button on yeah. the unit itself so that, that's a great point as long as the blue light is blinking that's showing bluetooth connection then it's the device is on it hasn't yeah. lost you know hasn't deleted the model um, that just means it's connected to your phone. 